All right, guys, this is going to be video number five of the Everly Stock EMOD series tutorial. In this video, we're going to take a look at accessories that can go with the EMOD system. Most of the accessories that we're going to look at here are Molly compatible accessories. So the hip belts that come with the mainframe have Molly webbing on them, which allows you to put all kinds of different attachments on them. And then this back panel here is uh, laser cut uh, Molly webbing that also allows you to attach accessories. So most of the accessories that you see thrown out on the table here are going to be Molly compatible and we're going to start taking a look at a few of them. The first thing we're going to take a look at though is an upgrade to the shoulder harness and the hip belt. So if you want to see how to remove the shoulder harness and hip belt in detail, go back and watch video two where I look at the mainframe specifically. This is not the hip belt and shoulder harness that comes with the mainframe. This is a more heavily padded version of the hip belt and mainframe or I'm sorry, hip belt and shoulder harness. So there's five attachment points on the shoulder harness. It's about twice as thick of padding on both the hip belt and the harness. So you have five attachment points that you'll need to undo. And then you have a simple Velcro piece on the hip belt that you'll need to undo. Again, go back and watch video two uh, for more specific uh, details on how to remove those. So that's the first accessory we're gonna look at. The second one and probably the most common accessory for the EMOD system is the rifle scabbard. So Everly Stock is known for our patented scabbard system where you can carry a rifle on your back in line with your spine. You can do this with the mainframe and EMOD series. So basically what I'm gonna do is you can see the two straps of Molly webbing on the back here. I'm gonna use those to weave into the utility or I'm sorry, the laser cut Molly webbing on the back of my mainframe. So I'm gonna take my scabbard, I'm gonna put it through there. Usually we recommend this lines up basically with about the top of the frame. Once I've got that done, I'm gonna go ahead and molly in the scabbard. Now a little pro tip for this. These buckles, these male buckles that you'll need to weave in and out of the molly, it's easy with this molly webbing that's on the scabbard because it's loops. The laser cut is not nearly as easy. So the best thing that you can do is take this buckle and just take it all the way off, weave just the strap through the laser cut molly, then put your buckle back on, clip it in, it'll be nice and secure. And I've got one set up uh I'll hold on to this actually i've got one set up though already because it does take a minute just to save some time but that's what the scabbard will look like when it's on there good and tight you can see it's not going anywhere uh, but again a little pro tip take off that buckle it'll save you a bunch of time so now we're just going to look at the frame and this whole pile of accessories that i have next to me oh i just realized one thing that i forgot there is a scabbard cover so if you have a scabbard on there and you want to cover your rifle entirely, either protect it or keep a little bit lower profile or something like that, this cover does buckle in. So this would go over the buttstock of the rifle. You can see that buckle will buckle in. Then that would sit on top. There's also a veil up here inside of this that can pull out and stuff down inside there. And that will keep dirt, debris, rain, things like that out. Okay, now looking at just the frame and these accessories. We got a whole bunch of them here, and I'm gonna start with a little preview of a uh, product that may or may not be out yet, depending on when you guys see this. We're expecting this in summer or fall of 2023, so if you haven't seen this on the website yet, you're not going to. I'm not gonna talk a ton about what this is yet, but I will show you that it's in both a bugle tube and a water bottle holder. So it's got a little retention cord on the bottom here. If I wanna run my bugle tube, It'll let you drop the bugle tube in there. Tube funnels down, it'll stop. And I'll be able to carry that on my hip belt right next to me. I'll be able to quickly access uh, my bugle tube. Then if you wanna use a Nalgene, you just tighten this up enough that the Nalgene won't drop through the bottom. You can use it to carry either the Nalgene or the bugle tube. And we're calling this our double threat pouch. If it's not available yet, it should be available to be signed up for email notification when it does become available. So go check that thing out. The next one is gonna be the sustainment pouch. So the sustainment pouch is really good for carrying a three or two liter bladder. It's got a little shock cord on the outside of it to tighten that down. You can also use this shock cord to stuff things behind it and lock that down for immediate access. So you don't even have to get into the pouch itself. But same thing, you've got a double Molly uh, strap on the back you can mount it directly to the frame there or a handful of our other packs um, anywhere that you have enough molly a large enough molly panel to mount that that'll work on the mainframe would be to the utility panel there 
We're going to talk about a couple of the recon system accessories. So the recon vinyl harness uses molly webbing. And again, because it uses molly webbing, it works in the EMOD system, at least as a hip belt pouch. So the rangefinder pouch that comes with, or that is part of the recon system can also be used on a mainframe. And I can mount that using the molly webbing to the hip belt. I could also take the utility pouch and mount it right next to it. I can mount it on the other side. But again, both of these just using molly webbing can be placed wherever I want. I could also put a few right here directly onto the frame itself if I wanted to put some emergency accessories or something like that in there. And then most of the packs, in fact, all of the packs would sit over the top of something small like that. But again, anywhere that you find molly webbing, you can hook those up. Same thing with our bear spray pouch. If you want to carry bear spray on the hip, um, you can carry it with the recon system. This is another recon accessory, but because it uses molly webbing, you can carry that on the hip. The small padded accessory pouch, molly webbing, hip belt, you know your options. A2MP multi-pack, same thing. Uses the molly webbing, you can hook that up. It fits great on either side. I'm personally a huge fan of these. I do carry one of these on my hip belt. These side pouches here are great for carrying my GPS in one side and then my, either my headlamp or my wind checker or something in the other side. The other reason I really like this pouch in particular is because if you open it up, there's actually a zippered mesh pouch in here. And I always like having double zippers for my really important stuff. So like my tags, my wallet, I put it into the zippered mesh pouch and then it's zipped again. So it's just a little pro tip of mine, the really the important stuff, really expensive stuff, put it behind two zippers. There's also a bunch of uh, accessory stuff sack, uh, slip pouches inside of the multi-pack. The large padded accessory pouch, a really simple concept, just a padded pouch, great for holding accessories. And again, will fit onto the hip belt. Or again, you can be mounting these anywhere you want on the mainframe, you can do multiple. And finally, our two liter pouch. Uh, so this is an unpadded, unstructured two liter pouch that again, will mount anywhere on the mainframe that you see um, Molly Webbing. The last accessory we're gonna look at here is the butt bucket. So the butt bucket will use these straps that you see here to run between the fabric panel on the frame and the frame itself right here at the shelf. So it's just a simple buckle system, place it between the fabric panel and the frame. That's now gonna hang slightly below the frame so I can take my pack, if I mount my pack onto my main frame and then have a little carrier here. If I take the cam of my bow and drop it in there, I have my bow compressed on the outside of the pack and I just need to run a compression strap around the outside of it. It's a really convenient way for carrying a bow on the outside of the pack. Drops it down a little bit so that you don't have the bow sticking out way high above your head. All right guys, this was video five of the Everly Stock EMOD tutorial series where we looked at all the different accessories that work with the mainframe and the EMOD system as a whole. Again, most of these accessories are simply um, Molly compatible pouches and accessories. You're not limited to Everly Stock Molly products to work with the mainframe. Most Molly products will work. The ones that we have are specifically designed to integrate with the system though, and obviously we highly recommend them. Make sure you check out the scabbard. The scabbard is definitely a consumer favorite and definitely a staff favorite for keeping the rifle out of your hands and on your back where it's convenient. And then you can also check out the padded shoulder harness and hip belt assembly for additional comfort when you're hauling stuff out of the backcountry.